hope you can all hear me. <sighs> oh, all right, last time we started off with no mics working, I took a couple extra minutes, and I think that you can all hear me. And look, while I was taking a couple extra minutes, like, I saw all you in here early, like, hanging out, waiting for me, and I gotta tell you, it made me feel awesome, because you guys are awesome. And there's my main man, Tommy Wells, getting in the stream right off the jump. You know we need a Tommy sound effect. Let me find a good one. D in the B. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we got more good Tommy ones in here. Alright, there's a... <laughs> no, there's too many in here. I'm going to just start throwing out hey nows. Mark, hey now. John, hey now. Djibouti, Tar River, Bryce... Fry, Chad, X to the Z, Mike. That's a big hey now for all of you. Look, I got my hey now button going too. Come on, hey now button. Hey now. Okay, just, you know, just so I don't have to like second guess it. Tell me, the music, my voice, all of it. It's a good volume. You can hear me and this is going to work. Someone just say in the chat, yes, I can hear you. It sounds great. Forest, Georgia. Hey now. Man, I can't believe there's 20 people up in here already. It's crazy. You guys are nuts. <laughs> All right, look, here's the plan. First, okay, I, I, I got this super fancy website. It's way fancier than me. I, I had a website sell, I mean a, a disc sell that had already sold. The website didn't take it down. It was probably my fault. High tech, Bobby. So I got to make another one real quick and get... <laughs> get it ready for this guy and we've already done a stream where we went over wobblers and tunnelers this one's just going to be a wobbler but look i got some pictures loaded in here there's the first wobbler i ever done thank you all of you saying that the sound is good that wobbler that's on the screen right now i did that with sharpie <laughs> that was the first one i ever tried way back when i mean it looks cool and all just sitting there but that you know it doesn't do none of them it does it any justice until they start spinning. Turn the voice up a few notches. Thank you, Fry. Bang, here, I'll move the mic a little closer too. I tried to like move it away a little so it wasn't dominating the screen. Chad, hey now. Kevin, hey now. Okay, there's another wobbler on the screen that I did in the past. They look cool and all just sitting there staring at them, but none of them, it, like it doesn't do it any justice until you see them to start to spin. Oh wait, that's gonna be blasting you with more music, right? There, I'll turn it off. So look, now you can see what the wobbler's all about. If you haven't seen one of these spin before, it's so trippy. <laughs> it's, even while you're making them, it's gonna trip you right out. So that's what all these are about. They're, they're about spinning. And we're gonna make another one, all right? I got only this one on the docket i think i'm gonna be able to pull this off in somewhere between a half hour less than an hour okay <clears throat> so let me get real fancy i'm gonna give a hey now real quick to some people who i might have missed hey now. because tommy's still in here i'm gonna give you another one of his That's Tommy making the, the putt of his life and then swallowing a bug. Oh! <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. All right, let's get back down to business. I got to switch the cameras so that you can see. Watch this. Oh, my God. I'm so high tech, Bobby. <laughs> Tell me how high tech that was. Okay, <clears throat> look. We got the disc right here. It's all ready. I got some dye over here that's under the, the, the chat box and stuff like that, but you'll just have to believe me. And the disc is already centered, so the only thing we have to do is get going. Now, I told you that, like, I, I sold this disc, but I sold it twice. So I emailed the dude and was like, yo, dude, your disc, it's already sold. My website screwed up. And I was like, if you want, I can make it fancier. or I can just make it the exact same. He said it's for his son, and his son goes to ECU, and their colors are purple and yellow, so... I got purple and yellow here to do this one a little different than it was one of the ones in the pictures that you saw earlier. Okay, but the first step is pretty daggone easy. I already got the disc centered. You can see it spinning. 
and I like to start with this first part. I'm going to do my best to keep my head out of the way so that it's not in the camera or that my shadow isn't covering, but I apologize for when it does. This first line, I like to put right where the edge of the rim is. Boom. Look at that. We're spin dying. It has begun. <clears throat> hey now, Jessica. You didn't get in late. I just started. I'm going to throw another hey now. Oh, whoops. I pressed the wrong, the wrong button. Where's the hey now button? There it is. Hey now. That's for any that I missed. Okay, now this... I normally suck at paying attention to the chat stream. Because I get caught up in what I'm doing and, you know, focus takes over. These dies, these spin dies take way more focus than normal so like if i miss something important like like i did last time i'm going to apologize in advance and just tell you i love you and if i miss it you know hit me up with a dm and i promise i'll get back to you i mentioned in the last video that i suck at group chats but i'm really good at one-on-one -on -one stuff so you know if you hit me with a dm i always get back to people All right, my plan is to do, in each of these sections, opposing fades. Which, if you do them just right, it almost makes that section look kind of rounded. <clears throat> All my fades, I like to get started like with a hard pinstripe to make sure I got a nice sharp edge. And then like I bring in the Q-tip and start my fade. already a little dark at the end. Here comes the acetone. Okay, set that somewhere safe. Anytime you see this little cap on my turntable, like in one of the videos, it's full of just straight acetone. And I'm usually using it to clean up or back out a little bit of color like here. See, it's backing out just a bit of that purple for me. Kind of giving my fade a little more love. sharper than I wanted but I'm okay with it Brandon hey now side in a sec. There goes that one. I'm a little OCD with my fades. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that already, but I don't see color really good, but I do see contrast well, and at least that's something to obsess over since I can't get the colors right ever. <laughs>
Wish I could hear the music like you guys. John, I'm glad you made it for the live show too, bub. I'm going to give you a hey now button once I'm done with this. Hey now. That one's just for you, John. This one's for me. Oh, I need another one. That is unbelievable, man. <laughs> oh, man. The ones where he's at that interview, I need, to, I need some beats. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Yeah. So I got these little Q-tips. Yeah, it's so hard with the camera. They have like they're like two stage. Here's one that's. You can see the two stages on it. Like the t that tip part. See how it's dirty from trying to get some of the color out. I don't take the dirty part back to the disc again. I cut the little tip off, give it another dip, and then come at it. So I'm not spreading any of the purple dye that's in the q-tip into that white section in the middle it's just another little OCD kind of control move and you get like twice the use out of the q-tip Feeling good about that fade. Now, before I move on to the next section, I'm going to take and put just a pinstripe of yellow in the middle. There. Oh, you know what I should do too? I should give it like a black hard edge. All right, but first, so let me get my my head shadow out of there. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then real quick before I move on. Put a pencil thin line of black at the outside of this fade. I got this brush with super long bristles that come to like a really fine point. And if I can hold my hand steady enough. pencil thin black line at the edge of the fade. It really makes it look like it just drops off if you do it just right. Okay. 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 Closing the black back up. All right, now comes the fun part. We're going to start to make this thing wobble. All right, now, this can get confusing, all right, because it's tough to know where to start to hit your circle just right, okay? So I took the disc off center and moved it up a little bit. So it was right here. Now I'm moving it up here. Now I have these little 
lines on, on my mat here, which help, you know, make it easier for me to know how far I've moved it. Really, in the end, it doesn't matter a terrible amount. Okay, now, this is key, okay, because this part can get confusing. I'm going to take a dry brush, all right? Give it just a little lick. Michael, if you're watching this, I promise I'll wash my spit off the disc. <laughs> all right, now, like what I want to do before I start doing my next circle is to find where it's going to go, okay? So you'll notice I have the fat part of what's left on the turntable, fat here, thin here, close to me, all right? And then where it's at the fattest is where you want to kind of like the circles to touch. And then I'm just going to let go of the turntable and let it do a practice spin, okay? See that one there? Would have just missed. Boom. That was the one. Okay, so I've stopped the turntable where the brush met twice in that circle. Now I'm going to get my yellow. A little pinpoint yellow brush. <clears throat> and our goal is just to make the first line once the first line is down on there it's easy you don't have to do all this other tricky crap that i'm trying to do here to make sure this gets on there just right but i want the two circles to meet can't see that for crap <laughs> i waited too long Okay. All right, now that it's down, man, this yellow, I can barely see against the white. I'm going to have to do another one, like kind of concentrated. goodness this is going to be a fade because this is not the cleanest line I've ever laid down. Alright, here we go. Alright, now that I can see my line, <laughs> that wasn't my cleanest maneuver ever. We're going to revisit that technique on the next circle. But once one's down in place that you can see, it's a lot easier to hit your mark. going to be our second one. All right, now I need a fatter yellow brush. I'm not going to make the yellow fade with a Q-tip. The section's too small. It's just going to be too much dye all at once. I won't be able to pull it off. So I got a fatter yellow to brushed it'll let me pull it in
Okay, one thing you got to be super careful of while you're doing these is that you don't let the disc hit your hand as it's spinning by. Because we're all used to doing spin dies with the disc evenly centered. And it's easy to... But, like, when it comes out wide there, if it hits my hand and knocks it off center, I'm never going to find the center point for this circle again because we just made it up you know we just kind of like moved the disc until it was in a good spot there's no chance of ever getting it back centered again on that same circle so you have to be super careful now that we're working our way towards the inside to not bump the disc while it's spinning and knock it off of the center point that it's on you understand for this concentric circle Okay, now I need a pencil thin purple brush. Oh, look at this one. This one's got the teeniest, tiniest tip. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put opposite color pinstripe right in the middle of those two fades. Man, that is a pencil thin pinstripe. Okay, you can almost see it on this right, but can you see how the purple one I just put down looks fatter here than it does here? You know, it's because we're now spinning over the dome of the disc. So like when it spins, the disc is lower there. It's higher here, higher, lower. You understand what I'm saying? Like normally when it's centered, you're always spinning on the same plane. That's just like something to factor in or take into consideration when you move it off center that it's going to have like unless you really control the pressure with your brush it's going to have a little bit of inconsistency to the line to the line in that way all right now i'm going to try to put that pencil thin black line on the outside of this just like with the purple one to see it doing it on that black line as well the thin part over here and the fatter part over here you know when the disc raises and impresses more of the brush into it as it goes around Purple is like blacker and darker and richer than the black. Okay, I can dig it. Oh man, I haven't looked. Oh, you guys are super chatting me. I'm so glad I looked up when I did because anybody that's gonna like donate actual ducats to my stream, you're the coolest gut. That's how you make me feel, John. I'm gonna give you two buttons. My man! Okay, now it's time to move this bad boy again. All right? Last time we moved it this way further now I'm gonna spin it to where the disc is closest to me on the turntable and I'm gonna move it bang just the opposite the other way okay now 
I'm in that spot again where the the part I want to attack is furthest is is on the fatter side of the turntable, fatter, thinner, closer to the side I want to attack. Where's my is this? Oh man, I mixed up the brush that was that I was putting in my mouth with other ones, so I'm gonna get a new one. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do like a little practice again to make sure I get this 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 ring started in this in the right spot. But just like we wanted it to touch these two rings down here, now we want the next two rings to touch on this side. So there's going to be like opening, close, and then the next one will be opposite again, touching on this side. And that is what makes it wobble all over the place. Okay. We're pretty good with that one. Right there. All right, now this is where I'm going to put the brush that goes in my mouth. <laughs> and now I need my little purple pencil brush to start this next one. And remember, don't let the thing hit you in the hand. Okay, look, it didn't quite touch. Okay, I got that little gap there. The good news is that with that line down and because we're doing a fade, I got a line down now. I don't have to do all that stupid concentration stuff. I can just start it and now aim just outside of that line to hit the other circle. I'll we'll fix that. And we'll fix that just like that. See that? It's just getting that first circle down that's so tough. Because it's easy to put it in the wrong spot. Brandon, you're a total friggin' stud. Let me give you some of the good. Let me give you. <laughs> Jump off of that thing! <laughs> okay, let's fade. Let's fade this purple in. Oh look, it's starting to wobble now. This is where this starts to get way too funky. We gotta have the too funky sound effect. Where is it? Oops, I hit the button, it's gonna stop spinning. All right, like, the thing I'm thinking every time I bring my hand to the disc now is make sure that you don't bump the disc. Because once it's off center, you're screwed. Remember that, okay? Oh, look, I looked up and caught a question. This is like the first question I caught and I'm gonna answer. Forrest, I have it set at 45 right now. These, I like to spin at the faster one, at the faster speed. I only have 45 and 33 as options. Now I need a little bit of a fatter purple brush. That right there. Oh yeah, look at this one. This one's really fat. Sorry, I didn't put my head in the way. I forgot. I gotta keep my head out of the way. is rich Okay. 
gonna dab this way out in the paper town this time. Oh man, the wobble's tripping me out a little bit while I'm looking at it. I'm res <laughs> I'm trying to resist. See if I can soften this up a little bit. I'm not using the big Q-tips now. I'm using the little ones. Which might have been a mistake. I'm going back to a big one. The other thing this does, aside from backing a little color out of the bottom of the fade here, is it cleans the brush strokes up in there. Kind of makes it look a little, a little smoother. Don't hit the disc with your hand. Okay. I can dig on that. Now I'm gonna give that a yellow pinstripe in the middle. Just like the other ones, I'm going to give it the super thinnest black pinstripe on the outside of it. To kind of box that section in and sharpen the edge of the fade. see that over the purple it's crazy the purple is so much darker than the black That'll work. That'll work. All right, we really we only got one more section to go now. Now look, see, I got the fat section here, the thin section here. I'm gonna switch it again and move it to this side. And then the last one's just gonna be like a little yellow ball, a little yellow faded ball in the middle there. All right, and test my position out again. This is when it's the easiest to hit the, the, the disc when it spins around because it's furthest out from the edge. <sighs> Alright, kind of crapped that shot there. It was a good thing it wasn't the real one.
Oh man, that's a small little yellow ball. <laughs> it's gonna look so funky when we get it going. Not stupid arm again. All right, look how funky I have to like choke up on this brush to make sure I don't hit the disc. Oh my God, it's tripping me out. It's so hard to concentrate when that thing spinning in three different directions at once. Oh yeah, that fade goes down to like a little white dot of nothing, and I love it. All right, where's my pencil thin purple? There it is. I'm just going to try to put a dot in the middle of that sucker. This isn't going to be easy at all, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it, honey. Okay, <laughs> that's small of a dot as I could make. Now I need my pencil thin black brush. Where I put that sucker? There it is. And we're just gonna give this bad boy a little bit of an outline. Oh yeah, we did it. We got to the middle. Okay, it looks funky now. Watch this. I'm going to get it back to center again. And that's when it's really going to funk your dome up. Look at that snot. <laughs> that is too funky. Every time I see it, it trips me out. Okay, so that's how you do it. You could tell what the hard parts were. It's it's like getting your, your first line down when you're moving to the next circle. But once you got that down, it's super easy to take care of the rest of that circle. But remember... The most important thing is not to let the disc bump your hand while it's because you'll never get it back when it's when it's back off when it's back off center. Golly, I'm looking at it do its thing on the screen. That just looks friggin' crazy. Alright, we got a little bit of a bonus. Check this out. I told you my man goes to ECU and they're the pirates and the purple and, and gold were their colors. I sneaky did a little uh, ECU pirates stencil on the back there. And we're I'm not gonna spin through the whole back. I'm just going to spin the back rim to match the front rim. And then we'll be add up, up out of here. Alright, that's centered. Alright, let me get this. Let me get this purple Q-tip that I was using. Golly, this purple. just goes for miles.
Okay. Okay. Just get a touch more acetone in my little cap here. Don't need much. We're almost done. Fatty Q-tips. Come here, fatty. Okay. It's just part of the plastic there. Yeah, this fades look a little better now, a little cleaner. Pencil thin yellow, and we are there square. It's amazing how much that one little pinstripe of yellow in the middle makes such a big difference. There. All right, that's that right there, kids. There's the secret sneaky backside with the ECU logo and then the wobbler I'll get it centered up one more time and let it spin while I clean up and say goodbye to you cats there we go so that was that I hope you know if you haven't seen that yet, it, you feel like, yo, I gotta try that, because you're right, you do. It's way too much fun. Remember, the first one I did, I, I, that I tried, I did in Sharpie, trying to figure out how to do it. So, like, don't be afraid to take, like, a crappy old disc and practice with it, because this isn't, like, super beginner, right, jump right off into the deep end kind of thing. It took, I did multiple practice discs before I got this down, but... They're totally awesome when you get them, and I know that you can do it. And to all you that I missed your questions, the purple I was using, Brandon, there's a question on the screen that I can answer, is this is actually Spike It Dip and Glow Grape. Uh, I also had, uh, uh, the rest were Worm Dip colors, Worm Dip Black and Worm Dip Yellow. But I have uh, the Worm Dip Purple as well. It's just not as... Uh, like the the spike at dip and glow one is just so much more purple or dark purple the great um like i said though if i missed any of your questions just shoot me a dm i'll get back to you and for all you nutbags that actually friggin super chat <laughs> i'll never get over that but like i can't thank you enough you guys are so awesome all right i'm gonna go catch some of the football game i got a little juice on it here I'll, let me switch back to the face only until, uh, you know, we catch it on the next one. My advice is to keep doing it. Yeah. All right. Have a good one.